Hello, in this video I'll be showing how you can easily color grade in Photoshop as a beginner from the start to the very end. And in case you like this video, simply make sure to hit the like button and also follow along with this tutorial. Simply check the links in the description of this very video to download the raw image to follow along with this very tutorial. So in order to color grade a raw image, simply first of all import this image in Photoshop. And as soon as you import the image, it is going to open up the camera raw filter. So in camera row, we want first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image or regarding this very photo. So now to do that, we're just going to come to the light option and under this you can adjust the contrast and lighting issues regarding this very image. So for this, I'll simply first of all open up the exposure because the image looks a little bit underexposed. And I'll take the highest down of this very image and do the same for the whites to have the image to have a little bit more of a good balance between the overblown highlights. And I'll come and open up the shadows of this very image just like that. And I'll take the blacks down and I'll simply add contrast by moving the contrast slider just a little bit. And you can see before, after. So this is the very first step to color grading and you can see the image already looks great or awesome. So in case you have taken the image and it's looking a little bit bluish for your liking, you can come to the temperature slider and play around with the temperature. So in case it is too blue, you can warm it up by taking up the warmth slider or if at all it is too yellow, you can cool it by taking down the slider towards the blue side. So in case the image is having a tint of magenta or green, you can play around with the slider to eliminate, for example, to remove magentas from the image. You can simply take the slider towards the opposite of magenta, which is green side. So what I would do in this case, I just want to manipulate the blue background because I don't feel like this is okay. So I'll take you to where we see the color mixer. So in color mixer, basically, we have three options that is hue saturation and luminance when you're playing around with the hues we are changing a color for example blue so if at all i play around with the blue slider you can see we can either make the blue color towards the aqua so when you're moving this blue slider towards the negative side or the left hand side you are making that color look like a color on top of it which is the aquas and when you move the blue slider towards the right hand side you're making that color look like a colored next which is the purpose. So that is how hue is going to be affecting the image. So hue is basically changing a color. Saturation is the intensity of a given color. You can reduce on the intensity of the blues or you can decide to increase on the intensity of the blues to your liking. Luminance is the brightness level of a color. You can increase on the brightness of the blues or you can even darken the blue color or any color in the photo that you're trying to edit. So in this case, what do I want to do? I just want to change the blue values of the hue. So I'm just going to come to the hue and make the hue of the blue just slightly towards uh, the aquas, just like that. I feel like this is okay. Then I'll come to the luminous and I slightly brighten up the blue color, just like that by taking up the blue slider towards the bright side. So you can see the before, after. So after I've done this, I'll simply go into uh, Photoshop to do the next adjustments. And before I go to Photoshop, we have the color grading panel in Camera Raw or even Lightroom. So in case the image is having or you want to affect the image individually, we have midtones, shadows, and the highlights. So these three are going to make up the image. You can either decide to affect a given color. For example, in case you want to affect the highlights of this image, you can either click in the middle and you drag and you see the effect in real time so you can see you can add a color so any color you select so you click in the middle and you move around to see how it is going to be affecting the image so for this case i just want to warm up the mid tone so just click in the middle and take this towards the oranges just a tiny bit and the closer it is towards the circumference the stronger the color or the more intense the color is going to be and the closer it is to the center the less intensity of that color that you're going to be having in your in your photo or in your image 
and I'm just going to come and cool down the shadows by adding a tiny bit of blues, just a tiny bit of blue color. So you can see the before, after so far. So we are basically going to come and click on open in order to open this photo in Photoshop. So I'm sorry about this. So I was working on a project earlier on. So right now in Photoshop, here is what we have to do. In Photoshop, make sure this step we are going to be doing right now is to be done after you have done the skin retouching and removing all these other adjustments and cleaning the background. So for this tutorial, we are basically focusing only on color grading. So assuming that you have done the skin retouching, just make sure you create a copy from the background layer by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard. And after doing that, we are simply going to come to the new layer icon and create a new empty layer. Come to where you see normal and change the blend mode from normal and change it to color. So come back to the layer that we created initially from the background layer. Simply come to select and come to subject so that Photoshop can automatically select the subject for us. So Photoshop has done a pretty nice job trying to select the subject for us. But when we try to zoom into the image by using Ctrl or you can use Command Plus, you can see some areas have not been selected in this case. So when these areas have not been selected quite well, you can simply come and get the quick selection tool and you add this into using the plus icon to add them into or to be part of the selection. So right now everything has been selected regarding the subject. So what we want to do, you're just going to come back to the empty layer that we created. So right now for this step, we just want to deal with the skin tones. So the new empty layer has been selected. Then you're going to come to the brushes, right click and get the normal brush tool. So after getting the normal brush tool, make sure for the settings, soft round brush is selected and the hardness is set to zero. Then mode is set to normal, opacity at 100%, flat 100%. So what we want to do, just want to sample color on the model skin and we paint it over the skin. So in case you analyze this very image, the face is having a slightly different color from the lower part of the body. So just want to create an even looking kind of skin color or skin tone. So I'm just going to zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard. And after zooming in, we just want sample color, for example, from the face. And we paint it over the rest of the image. So hold down the option key on the keyboard, option and left click on a color that you want the rest of the skin to look like. So option and left click to sample. For Windows is alternate and left click to sample a color. And after sampling that color, you're just going to start calm or start painting over the skin. So to paint over the skin, we are simply left clicking and holding down. And for those using a graphics tablet, it is as simple as drawing over using your pen or your stylus. So I'm just going to reduce on the size and make sure that I've painted on each single area that has or contains skin tones to create even looking skin tones for our model command minus to zoom out. So I'm just going to paint on majority of these areas that have or contain skin tone. And as we're doing this, you can notice that the skin is now looking nice and even and it is looking similar over the whole body. So I'm just going to be doing this for the rest of the model skin. Don't mind if at all it is looking a little bit overdone or looking yellowish or too red for our liking. So I'm just going to be doing this. Control plus to zoom in so that I can be precise with the painting process. So you can see these areas haven't been painted well because we are, we are working at a distance. So make sure you zoom all the way in in order to paint. So to reduce on the size of the brush, you can use the bracket keys or the square bracket keys on the keyboard to reduce on the size of the brush to paint on a very tiny or small area. So I'm just going to be doing this quickly and faster. So in case you have painted on an area that you did not want to be affected in the first place, I'll show you how you can rectify or correct that error or that kind of mistake. So I've painted on majority of the areas that have skin or contain skin in this case. And after painting, I just want to press Ctrl D or you can press Command D on the keyboard to deactivate the active selection. 
So in case you want to fine tune the skin color or skin tones of this very model, just come and get the eraser tool. The mode is set to brush or pass in the flat 100%. You can now zoom in and rub away the effect from other areas like her outfit and other areas that you didn't want to paint in the first place. So you can see right here on her outfit in the back, just like that. Control minus to zoom out. So right now the image looks okay, but it looks a little bit too yellow or too yellowish. So we shall come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so it can look a little bit natural and realistic. So I'm just going to go with an opacity of around 60, 68 is okay. Then in case it is looking too yellow, just come to hue and saturation, come to master, select the reds and come to lightness and take down the lightness slider, just around negative four. Then we shall come to selective color and simply target the blacks to add a cinematic vibe to the blacks by taking up the sun slider. And this is also going to try to reduce on the oversaturated skin tones for our subject. Then after this, I feel like the image is slightly underexposed. So I'll just come to the brightness and contrast and just pump up the exposure of this very image. So you can see that the image is now getting to look better. So in case you want to darken or add more contrast to the skin, just come and se select black and white, change the blend mode from normal to multiply and simply reduce on the opacity to your liking to around, I feel like five is okay. So for skin that is still looking yellow, you can simply come back to the hue and saturation, double click on the icon and target the reds and you can even take this lower so that the skin tones can look a little bit natural and realistic. Then finally, we can add a color balance. So just come to color balance right here. And you can add, for example, I feel like the reds are a little bit too much in the skin tone. So just come to the mid-tones and simply add a tiny bit of greens to our mid-tones to around three or four. I feel like that is okay. So this is what we have been able to achieve right now. So in case you want to brighten her legs, you are simply going to create another stamp visible layer by pressing Shift Option, Command E for Mac, then for Windows the Shift Alternate Control E to create another stamp visible layer. And this time around, come and get the Quick Selection tool and you select the red. So for cases whereby the light was not reaching her feet or her legs, so use the Quick Selection tool and you select her feet or her legs. So to subtract a selection or to remove an area from a selection, hold down the option key on the keyboard and you click away or out of the area that you don't want to select in this case. So I've selected that area of the legs. Just come and create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Take out the contrast from the dark area and you can see that is going to make the image look closer and you can now come and brighten or add a brightness effect to her legs. It is just subtle, but it really makes everything come to life. So let's see the before and after for just Photoshop. This is the image before, after, before, after. In case you want to manipulate the blues even more, you can simply come to a selective color and you come and target the blues in this case. And you can come to the magenta slider and play around with the magentas or remove magentas from the blues just like that and you can even play around with the science to see what will work for you so this is how you can simply understand color grading in photoshop and in case you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.